Hello my friends. Hello YouTube. I'm just going to plant some carrots. I have some uh, Atomic Red and some Danvers Half Long. <coughs> uh, whatever that is. But uh, I'll try them out and uh, see how it goes. I've already planted some of these. But uh, I'll plant some more. I like to uh, stagger my plantings. Here you can see I have uh, carrots coming up already. Those have been in the ground for well, at least a month now, I think. But uh, I'm going to plant some more. And that way I got a staggered harvest. <coughs> but uh, yeah, as you can see uh, on the left there, the uh, carrots are uh, growing quite well. Didn't do anything special. No real tricks or anything. I didn't, uh, I didn't know that carrots were tricky to grow. Yeah, I didn't know any better. So, what I do is just uh, follow the directions on the, uh, on the packages uh, for uh, planting depth. And, uh, yeah. So, <clears throat> I made some, uh, some rows to put the seeds in. And I simply use my uh, pointy stick. One of the greatest tools ever is a pointy stick. You can uh, dig with it, uh, get your dinner with it. social distance with it. <laughs> it's a great tool. So you make your your uh, planting trench a little bit deeper than the uh, recommended seed depth because when you're making a trench either with your fingers or with a pointy stick or uh, garden trowel, whatever you're using, you're loosening up the soil so when you put it back on and it starts watering it's going to compact down so even like you know if it's a shallow depth a little deeper is not going to make a difference uh, because the, the rain and everything will uh, recompact the soil that you've loosened and uh, carrots the recommended planting depth on this is uh, usually a 0.3 of a centimeter to half a centimeter so like a sixteenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch uh, it should be just fine and again as you can see uh, planting them I'm planting them exactly as I planted these ones and these ones are all growing uh, just fine I got a really good germination rate I even thinned them out a bit If you're worried about your uh, soil being deep enough to grow carrots, there's many varieties. Like these ones here, these Danvers half longs. And there's some other uh, French varieties I can, I can't think of the names, but I've grown them before. And they only grow like you know half as long as a store-bought carrot so if you're in a container or you're worried your uh, topsoil is not deep enough for the big long carrots like you find in the stores uh, just uh, pick yourself a variety that uh, 
is shorter, stubbier growth, little petite carrots, you know. The French have uh, many varieties of carrots that they've developed for their cooking, right? Different sizes and shapes. So the ones you commonly see in the store, that's this one, one kind of carrot, right? But uh, even though this topsoil isn't uh, very deep because it's a hugoculture bed and uh, I have trees buried not too far down in here, you know, maybe eight inches. Um, I've had no problem growing carrots in this bed. I had nice big carrots last year. So yeah, just uh, fill in your rows. Don't worry about too much for spacing. Better to have a few more seeds in there than not enough because carrots are notorious for uh, germination. But like I said, I have no problems. And really key to this <clears throat> is making sure once they're planted that you stay on top of the water. And you don't want the soil to dry out on top of these seedlings. They're very small. They grow very close to the surface, so when they germinate, if they have too far to go, where the soil's dried out and becoming hard, they can't push through it. So keep your soil very moist. Watering twice a day is good enough. Water in the morning and then uh, in the evening, and it should be fine. That's all I did with these ones here. And as you can see, they're growing. Growing just fine. Uh -uh. Squished one there. So yeah, planting carrots, uh, pretty easy. Don't have any, any trouble with birds or anything, or seem to leave the carrot seeds long. Someone's been feeding the squirrels here uh, hazelnuts. So yeah, I just loosely, I'm not going to pack it down or nothing. Water's going to do that. Yeah, that's all there is to it. I'm going to plant the rest, but uh, Just thought I'd uh, show you how easy it is to grow carrots. And yeah, these uh, purple ones here, I've yeah, read a lot and uh, heard a lot about uh, all the benefits of the uh, <coughs> colored vegetables, right? So we'll see, it's supposed to be good for my eyes and stuff. Even better than regular carrots, I guess. So beta cyanides or something, I don't know. That doesn't sound right. That sounds like poison. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for watching my uh, uh, carrot, how to plant carrot video. And uh, once again, you're all my friends. So have a great day wherever you are, whenever you watch this. And I'll talk to you later.